Hey y'all, today I am going to show you how to do a, um, a really fun, easy freezer paper stencil shirt. So um, I've seen a lot of tutorials on this, but um, to me it's a lot easier if you just really see it in person. So what you need to get started is freezer paper, not wax paper, an iron, obviously a shirt or some, or some surface that you're going to be working on, a pencil and scissors, and then some sort of fabric paint. Now I have got just like the tulip soft fabric paint. I'll show you. There's this is kind of the bottle. Um, I'm not using this color today, but um, but that's the bottle. You could also get this tumbled eye spray stuff. It comes in a package like this. This was in there. Um, so any of that works. So what you do first, you take your freezer paper. This is my sample. I'm gonna pull it over. But you take your freezer paper and you kind of put it on top of your t-shirt and you draw out whatever design you want. Now. Um, it should, to, to be the best, to have the best outcome, it needs to be a closed shape. So let's say that I wanted to do like a tie for Father's Day or whatever, um, or just to be cool. Um, so I'm going to do a tie. I'm going to draw it out. And if you don't like the way you're drawing it, you can, you know, you can redraw in here several times. But then once you get your shape, so I've got a shape. I don't know if you can see. I've kind of got a shape drawn. Then I'm going to cut it out with my scissors. Now, for time's sake, I've already done that. <clears throat> so kind of looks like this, okay? Do you see? I threw away the tie piece that I cut out, and I'm keeping the outer part, okay? So I cut this out, throw it away, and keeping the outer part. Now, with freezer paper, one side is uh, rough, one side is slick. You want the slick side down, so I'm going to put it down. And then FYI, I also have another piece of freezer paper kind of under, not underneath my shirt, but in between the opening, just so that when I start painting, it won't go through the back. So I've got this place where I want it. Then I'm going to take my iron, and I'm just going to kind of go over it just a little bit. And what this does is it binds the, uh, the freezer paper to the shirt where it sticks perfectly. Then you can take, like I said, if you want to do a spray, you can do a spray. Now I'm going to um, I'm going to be going quick just for sake of this, but it really you can take your time with this and paint tons of stuff. So I just spray that and it looks all over the place whenever I take the, uh, take the stencil off at once. You can paint. So here I'm going to take some of my fabric paint. Maybe do some, you know, stripes. <clears throat> whenever you are doing your paint, take it all the way to the edge of the stencil. If you just stay in the middle, you're not going to get that good crisp outline, especially if you have any, if you're leaving any white and your t-shirt's white, you really need some sort of a, um, an outline. So I'm just painting just a little bit. Now, like I said, this is a super fast uh, example. I normally would take a lot more time and make this a lot cuter. And I would suggest you do the same, but I just want to show you how it works. Okay, so I've got lots of stripes on here. Not the best, but they will work for demo purposes. So right now it looks like this. It'll look upside down to you for a second. Then I'm going to take this off. And then I have a pretty clean outline of my tie. Okay, so um, there's tons of different things you can do. You can do your big uh, letter initial. You can do a cross. We've had kids do smiley faces and peace signs, and mustaches are really popular now. So um, anyway, have fun with that. Uh, like I said, it's a whole lot easier when you see it. Um, I've read those tutorials for a long time, and, uh, and to me, once I did it, I was like, ah, oh, so much easier. So all right, y'all have fun.